The weather's starting to hot up, and as you know, summer is the natural enemy of the goth. All that light. Warmth. Bastardy warmth. We have devised some ways for you to go out, stay with your gothy chic, and not melt. Yeah, basically this video to teach you how to be a little more Davy Havoc than Davy Vanity. We hope it helps. So for guys, or people who identify as guys, summer's actually quite easy for us. Just shave, if you have to, or wear a vest and jorts, like I do. Obviously the Kevin Owens cosplay isn't necessary, but it helps me, so... But obviously, you know, if you don't have a vest, that's okay. Um, I will teach you how to make some in the Creator Studio. So to make a vest, you need a t-shirt and some scissors. I have both of these so I can start. It's kind of really simple, just cut along the seam, then be really manly and just fucking rip the bastard. Then you should have some cool punk rock aesthetic chic that looks something like this. So yeah, then I'm going to try it on in the next shot. Now you should have the best and hopefully slightly more impressive arms than these white from noodles. But yeah, um, it's kind of cool. It makes jammy shirts a lot easier to buy. But seriously, cut the neck off first. Not a good look. For girls and androgynes, or people who are non-binary, looks can be a bit more complicated. So I'm going to show you two female and one... Oh, and one androgynous look. Oh. <laughs> um, a great tip that I found out was to keep an eye on the sales and a really good way of doing that is follow all your favourite clothing brands on Facebook and on Twitter. So this is a Kate's Clothing Cherry Bomb play suit which I bought for £3.50 because I saw on their Facebook they were having a reverse auction sale. Look 2 is a little bit more if you're going out, if you want to impress, not really a work look. This is a black ballet skirt, which I bought in a charity shop a couple of years ago for a couple of pounds. And the reason it's so great is because it goes out when you spin. I've paired this with a lacy black crop top with a kind of corset effect. Um, I really like wearing lace because it just adds a little bit more goth and a bit more glam to something really quite plain that I also picked up in a charity shop for about two pounds. And the final look is my androgyne look that I actually wear this quite a lot. I don't like showing my legs very often in the summer because I've got loads of bruises, loads of scars. So I wear tights. This is a pair of black bat tights that I bought at Halloween from a pound shop um, that you can see they're a bit laddered, but it's fine, it just adds to the goth look paired those with some hot pants. This is also a great festival look because jeans, if they get wet at a festival, take forever to dry. Hot pants and tights, they don't. I'm also wearing a vest because it keeps your shoulders, underarms, nice air, you know, the air can get to them. And underneath this, I have my binder. The thing about binders is you have to be sure that they're fitting. This is an extra large, even though, as you can see, I'm not extra large. Um, shop around online if it's safe for you to do so, to find one that's gonna fit you, and don't wear it all day. If you're new to wearing binders, wear it for a couple of hours and build up, especially in the summer, because you're gonna get really hot and sweaty under there, um, and it makes it more difficult to breathe. And the final thing, I don't really like summer that much because you can't wear your favourite band hoodie. So my solution to that is get cut off. So just cut up an old denim jacket, I'm sure your mum's got one in the cupboard, this was one of my mum's, and buy patches and pin badges to sew on uh, to support your favourite bands. During the summer I always wear a bandana. You may or may not have noticed that I've always got a hat on. In the summer, it tends to be a bit hot for my beanies, so I wear a bandana. Uh, this is a really brightly coloured one that I love because it just goes with everything. Um, and the great thing about bandanas is if you get cold while you're out, you can wear them as a scarf. 
if you're at a festival, gets a bit dusty, you can wear them as a face mask. Uh, if you cut yourself, you know, or get injured, you can wrap it around uh, with that, or use it as a flag to even signal your friends. And those are my three summer goth looks. So the thing with summer is, it it's, brings nice. along, it's nice, but it brings along sun, Ugh. sea, sand, and, and sweat. And I suffer from sweat issues really badly, don't I? Ah! So we've come up with some of our favourite products that should help you be sweatitized. I was going to say feel, look and smell less sweaty this summer. Um, this is something that because I work in a unnamed fast food restaurant, um, my mum bought me this, but actually I bought it. It's the Body Shop Strawberry Body Mist and it smells like that. Smell of vision. That might exist. Um, yeah, so it, kind of, it smells like strawberries and it's really nice. Gross. My first product um, for summer is Lush's Oroma Toner Water. So uh, this stuff is godly. Is incredible. <laughs> I bought it to remove face masks, and when but I got to the tail, out. it turns out that you can use it to remove makeup. You can use it as a toner to clean your skin. You can use it to set your makeup. You can use it to set your face mask. I don't know how that one works, but apparently it does. Yeah, so uh, to stop your makeup running when you get all sweaty, you just put a couple of sprays of this on and it sets can your we do makeup. Can smell vision for the viewers, please? It smells like lavender. Yeah, uh, the next product I got, it's Dry Shower Body Wash from Pump It Up. It's really, really good. Basically, it works like this. So it's a... It's a liquid, but you use it for festivals, gigs, work. I just want a lot of work. So yeah, so it comes on like that, and then you rub it in to yourself, and just allow it to dry naturally. Because like it, an alcohol hand wash. Yeah, pretty much. Like. And then it should smell like mandarin, and it does. You smell like a gorgeous fruit cocktail. I am a, I am a fruity cocktail. My final product are these. These are Lush's dusting powders. They are basically glittery towels. We're both wearing it right now, aren't we? Shut up! Really cool. It's like um, a fruity strawberry cocktail arm. But yeah, you can use it as you do with normal talcum powder. Um, if you're getting a bit sweaty, you're getting a bit chafing. But this stuff's also glitter and scented. I'm gonna use the pink one. So Maybe don't do that one on the camera, that one might ruin it. Is you just put a little bit on your arm, rub it in. If you've seen Ashes to Angels, you know that Nico uses that. And this like one smells snow like Snow Fairy, uh, and you get a nice, nice glittery, glittery sheen. sheen. So yeah, we hope you like this video. Yeah, it's kind it's, of a weird style, but we hope you guys it, like it's it. It's our little, it's our first ever lookbook type yes. thing, isn't it? Basically, we are now Spring to Blitzer, Spring for Reno. Um, and <laughs> if you guys have got any cool summer tips, Let ways that you keep cool or stay goth during the summer, put them in the comments or tweet us at Phil and Ree yes. on Twitter. Talking of our Twitter, there is also a competition we are running to win the first ever Villainry Radio script, the first one that I ever wrote hand written. It's our first ever PR radio script. You get the original. All you have to do is tweet with the hashtag PR Memories your favourite memory of us. It could be a time you've hung out with us. It could be a funny video. It could be a time that you've maybe been listening to our radio show at a fun time in your life. Yeah. It can be absolutely anything. And We're gonna wait. pick the winner next Tuesday at 9.30pm live on our radio show. Go check that out. Alright, cool, apart from that. And while you're there, listen. like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.